In this video, we'll be taking a look at creating 808 bass sounds in Massive X. We'll begin by looking at some of the fundamentals when synthesizing a sound like this, and then we'll dive into some of the more unique features of Massive X that we can employ to further sculpt, shape and process our 808. We'll begin by loading the init preset. We pull down the wavetable position knob to a sine wave. Tune down our oscillator minus two octaves. And then apply pitch modulation via an envelope. Shortening both the amp and mod envelope. With our basic sound set up, let's now patch in a filter. The blue Monarch filter has been modelled on the filter from the Monarch synth and instantly adds more tone. We could tweak the load for a little more attitude or turn down the resonance slightly. Let's now switch the wavetable to a square sine saw morph. The square wave plays more of a hard style kick. Let's bring this round to somewhere between a square and a sine wave. The performer section on Massive X is now incredibly deep and flexible. By using a performer curve for our pitch modulation, we can be a bit more precise with how we shape the pitch envelope. We just need to change the mode of the performer from loop to one shot. We can now introduce the feedback into our sound. Where we place it in the chain is down to a matter of taste and experimentation. Setting up a loop from the filter into the feedback and then back into the filter adds a nice and warm vibe. The feedback now includes a low cut filter for a less aggressive application. Switching back to the wavetable oscillator, let's try some different wavetables. Looking in the monster section, we select the whole kopf table. Bringing this to the left, it's still similar to a square sign, but as you scan the wavetable, the sound gets more distorted. We can modulate the wavetable position with an envelope with a slow attack. to bring the position round in the decay stage. Let's also add some phase modulation to the oscillator controlled by the same envelope. For a final touch on our 808, let's patch in an insert effect. The distortion would be an obvious choice here. Once again, we can experiment with how we route the effects. Patching out from the oscillator and routing to the output works nicely. We can also try loading the different distortion modes to switch up the vibe. 
pushing the feedback up further adds a crunchy mid-range. We can add the slow attack mod envelope here for even more movement on the sound. And if we want to tone down some of the aggression, we can always use the filter, bringing down the cutoff frequency for a deeper sound. 